In this video, we take a look at how to create a stylish YouTube banner like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So this banner is one that I created for Miss Trudy. And in this video, I'm going to show you the process and how I came up with this design in Photoshop. So let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is your YouTube channel at template, and then you can download this from Google or any other web browser. So you download the template and then you drag it inside of Photoshop. This should work with anyone or any version of Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6. Now, once you bring this inside of Photoshop, you have to take note of a few things here. I love to use this template because it has already been structured as to where we show on any given device. So we're going to drag some rulers. So for instance, I drag my ruler over here or my guideline, if you want to call it that way. And then I can drag another one here. That is just to let you know that when you put a test in between the very deeper black here, it is going to reflect on a minimum desktop and mobile and to the very very end here is going to appear on the maximum desktop and this portion is going to appear on the tablet so i'm going to drag some two more guidelines over here so i'll drag another one over here now since most people watch youtube videos or visit youtube profiles on mobile phones it is very advisable that you keep the very important things in between this very guidelines that we've created that is the very deep part of this template so once we finish setting up this we can go ahead and start with the creation of the banner the first thing that i want to do is i want to create a rectangle in the middle here that is the gray part that has been specified for me and also you have to take note that this is the only portion that is going to show on your youtube these areas are not going to show so if you have any important stuff you have to make sure that it reflects at where we have the rectangle now once we create that we can give it any color of course but then i want to add it an external background so i'm not actually going to focus so much on this so i'm going to press ctrl t and make sure that this place is covered like that okay the next thing that i want to do is i want to go inside of my resources these are the resources that i'm using i'll leave links in the description if you want to download any of them so i'm going to first drag my image here that is the background that i got for this particular whole design so i'm going to open it up like that to make sure that it fills at least the rectangle that we created i right click on it and i'm going to create a clip masking now the clip mask is going to basically clip the whole of the image inside of the rectangle that we've created and then you can take time to position it something like that now the next thing that i want to do is i want to right click on this and i'm going to rasterize the layer i don't want it to look very hard like this so i'll go to filter blur and then i'm going to choose gaussian blur over here and i'm going to add a bit of blur to it the more you increase the radius the more it becomes more softer as well i wanted to kind of make it more soft like this and then i'll go ahead and click ok i'm going to press ctrl u and i'm going to add a bit of saturation to it so that it becomes way deeper than the normal image that we brought in so i'm going to increase it a bit like that let me make it 10 and then i'll go ahead and click ok now if you realize from here we have a lot of images right from here but you're not going to make use of all of them but you're going to make use of most of them so i decided to use some of them as the background the first one is this picture right here so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i'll leave it over here now for any of the pictures that you bring in you have to make sure that you right click and create a clipping mask so that it will fit right inside the rectangle that we are working on now you have to keep in mind that the focus is the rectangle in the middle now let me quickly adjust this image here i think the trees here are quite disturbing so let me adjust the image of my background here a little bit like that okay let me bring it down i think this looks perfect okay so right over here so let me go back to the first image that i brought in and i'm going to right click and rasterize it i press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate it and then i'm going to set this to soft light so i'll go to the blending mode and set this to soft light now what this is going to do is basically it is going to set us 
something very plain at the background and then i can go ahead and decrease the opacity now if your image is quite okay enough for you you can just leave it else you can transform it a little bit like that and then you can add something like the layer mask over here to it choose your brush tool and then you can brush off the areas that you don't want so something like that now we're going to add another one to it so let's go to the resource here and then i have this beautiful image of miss 3d i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop position it at the right side double click on it i'm going to right click and create a clipping mask i'm going to transform it like that and position it at the very left side over here so i can bring it over here and then i'll just double click on it i right click and then i'm going to rasterize the layer press ctrl shift and then u and then i'll go to the blend mode and i'm going to set this one also to soft light so this time around too i'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit like that and then i'm going to add my layer mask over here choose my brush tool and i can paint it off like this so that the edges wouldn't be that very hard it's that simple right so the next set of things that we're going to do is we're going to add some shapes to this particular one because the images are many we're going to try to make use of most of them all right so let's first start off by adding a triangle so let's go to the shapes here come to the polygon and then we're going to set the sides to three here and we hit on enter now i'm going to hold shift to create a very perfect triangle like this so i can create something like that and then i'm going to leave it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that i press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered I can push it up a little bit like that so that the very edge is what you see here i want it on top of this one so let me just bring it here now i'll double click on the layer thumbnail here and i'm going to change the color to black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the opacity to about 30 percent from there i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j now you have to be very careful over here because for any duplicates that you're going to make it is going to move out of the rectangle that you created so for any duplicate you make you have to right click and then you create a clip mask again sometimes it can be very confusing but you have to do that so i'm going to press ctrl t after i clip mask it and i'm going to transform it a little bit like that so something very small like that so that it creates that v shape over there for me now we will come back later to these shapes and then we're going to add some images to it but then let's first finish creating all the shapes so the next set of shapes that i want to add is going to be the rounded rectangle so i right click and choose my rounded rectangle over here let me just add a new layer on top here right so i'm going to create a rounded rectangle over here something very small you take your time to adjust it so you press ctrl t and then you adjust it a little bit like that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and create the clipping mask so that i would know exactly where i want it so i'm going to zoom in right over here and then i'll take time to readjust it so i'll press ctrl t again and take time to readjust it and make sure that i have it exactly where i want it to be you can just take your time to reposition it something like that and then i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail here change the color back to black and then i'll click ok i'm going to decrease the opacity of this one to about 40 percent as well because i'm going to make a duplicate so i'll press ctrl j make the duplicate right click on it and create the clipping mask i'll press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform it a little bit like that so that i'm going to have that very nice edge around it you'll come back later to this to add the images so you don't have to worry or better still if you don't want to get confused after you make the duplicate you're going to bring the opacity to 100 percent so that you know exactly where you place your images so we're going to make a duplicate of these two rectangle rounded rectangles that we created press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we can bring them over here so i can take time and position it nicely over there so you take your time to do that now it sure looks good over here and then we want to repeat the same process at the very right side of the banner but then we don't want to this time around go through the same process so what we're going to do is we're going to select all the rounded rectangles that we created make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j you press ctrl t and then you're going to right click and flip it horizontal so this time around when you hold shift and then you drag it to the very 
right side this is what you're going to have but you have to make sure that the edges here and over there they look quite similar or very the same so once we're done with this we can go back to our shapes and then start adding the images so first of all let's go to the first polygon or the triangle that we created over here this is what we're going to add our image so let me just highlight that make it white here so that i know exactly where i'm going to so i know that currently i'm on this polygon one copy what i do is i'll go to my image this is the image that i want to use over there this is the image i want to use as the main image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop and you have to make sure that it is on that polygon that you are dragging it to so immediately you bring it in to make sure that none of the you realize that the rest are missing so what you do is you right click and you create the clipping mask so that it fits right into the style that you've created but then you realize that it's supposed to fit straight into this particular polygon that we created but it is not fitting in so what we are going to do is we're going to use another strategy which is quite very technical so you pay attention here so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this one a little bit double click on it and then i'm going to reduce the opacity right from there now let me zoom in so that you get the understanding of this one we just want the image inside of this rectangle so where we've highlighted the white so we're going to transform the image a little bit more like that and then we make sure that we have it to the point that we want we want to see her head and then the hand over there very nicely like that and then what we're going to do from there is you right click on the image rasterize the layer now i want to select the actual triangle so we come to select this one hold control and then click on the layer thumbnail over here immediately you do that you realize that only that portion of the rectangle is selected now what you do is you go back to select the image that you want to fit it in press ctrl shift and then i to inverse it so when i zoom out you realize that the selection is around the image this time and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit on delete now immediately you do that you realize that you only have the parts that you selected so something like that and then you're going to press ctrl d to deselect it now what you do is you go back to the opacity and then you can set this one back to 100 percent quite simple here yeah. so after at this point you can add a bit of adjustment to it for instance you can add some levels by pressing ctrl l and then you can add some levels to it so that it blends with the background that you are using and then you can add some saturation as well if you so want to and that is basically the same process we're going to use in doing the rest of the shapes here so to make sure that you are not missing let me just go ahead and make all of these colors white so the next one we want to do is we want to select this rounded rectangle once you select it you can use the eye here to make sure that you're on the right rectangle and then let's go inside of our resource so i want to use this first image right over here let me drag and drop it inside of photoshop i'll bring it over here immediately i bring it in i right click create a clipping mask right click and then rasterize the layer and then i can push it to this very left side because that is where we want to place it i reduce the opacity to about 50 percent or a minimum that i can see the actual shape that we are working with and then i'll press ctrl t to transform it like that and once i see that the full image is appearing and then we have some space around it like this i can then go ahead and select my rounded rectangle hold ctrl and then click on the layer thumbnail over here so that it makes a selection of that particular rounded rectangle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl shift and then i to invest the selection go back to the actual image and then i'm going to delete it now what i do from there is i'll go to the opacity and then set this back to 100 percent very simple let me make one more illustration so i want to add this particular image so i'll first select my rounded rectangle check that i'm on the right one go inside of my resource and i have this particular image here i'll drag it inside of photoshop bring it right over here double click on it right click and then create a clipping mask so what i do is i'll place it to the very left side over here 
decrease the opacity to about 50 percent right click on it and rasterize the layer and then i can transform it like that so something very nice like this let me take time to reposition it over here some of the images are really going to give it trouble so you just have to readjust something like that and then i'll double click on it go back to my rounded rectangle hold control and then make my selection i'm going to press control shift and then i to invest it go back to the image and i'm going to delete it now once i'm done i'm going to turn the opacity on so that it fills the entire shape and then I this time around you realize that there is a small gap left over here so what i do is i'll go to the rounded rectangle double click on it and then i'm going to choose the actual image in the background so that it fills it very completely so i'm going to use the same strategy to do the rest of rounded rectangles and then i'll catch you on the other side yes and so we're back and all the images are filled so the rest of the things that we're going to add will be the test the, the channel name what the person does and then the social media handles so let's start with the channel name so the first thing we do is we go for the test tool t for the test tool and for the first font i'm going to use a font called eth so i'll leave links to download the font in the description and i've already written my tests here just to make sure that everything moves very fast as the video is already keeping long so i'll copy and paste it and then i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it to make it a little bit very bigger like this one and make sure that it is left aligned so something like this position it here and i'm going to right click for the test you don't necessarily have to right click and create a clipping mask because it is already in the middle of the rectangle so i'm going to right click go to the blending options and i'm going to make use of some drop shadow so i'll drop a little bit of shadow and increase the size a little bit like that afterwards i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then i'll drag it at the very bottom here and i have my 2d over here so miss 2d i'm going to select it all and paste it and i'll press ctrl t to make sure that i transform it to be on the same size so something like that and take time to position it pretty simple now at the very bottom of it i want to create a rectangle so i'll go for my rectangle tool and create a rectangle like that now let me zoom in some more like this and then i'm going to readjust the rectangle a little bit like that so let me bring it here. and then i'm going to select the mist 3d here and push it up a little bit so what i do is i'm going to select my layer thumbnail here change the color to black and i'm going to reduce the opacity to 40 percent let's try 70 50 60 looks good for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the next set of tests that is what the person does so travel lifestyle and vlogs and i'm going to paste it right over here so for the second font i'm using a font called poppins my favorite we are done with the left side so on the right side we want to add a social media handle and then the subscribe button so i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and drag it to the very right side over here i'll go to my test and then i have at miss trudy so that is the handle and then i'm going to paste it right over there i'll press ctrl t and transform it and then inside of our resource we have some social media handles that we want to use so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and i'll position it at the right side here it opens another document for me and then i'm going to choose my rectangular market tool and create a selection and i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate it and i'll send it to the work that we are doing so right over here i'll press ctrl t to transform it to be a bit bigger it is black that's why you're not seeing it so right click and go to the blending options and then you're going to apply a color overlay to it select the color and then you're going to give it a color white now i want to take your time to position it to make it look nice and then you are good to go so the next one is we make another duplicate and bring it down over here the next set of tests is turn on notifications so the last thing that we want to do over here let me change this particular font so let me select all of it and i'm going to change the font to railway 
links will be in the description if you want to download any of the fonts that i use so the last thing we want to do is the subscribe button so i'll go for the rounded rectangle tool here and i'm going to create a very nice small rounded rectangle like this one and i'm going to make sure that the color is black click ok reduce the opacity to about 60 percent and let's go back to the turn on notification and make a duplicate we want it on top of the rounded rectangle and drag it right over here so we select all of it and we want to bring the subscribe over here so subscribe leave it right over there and now let's go back to these free social media handles the next one we want to copy is the youtube icon here so you press ctrl j to copy it and then you send it into your work and then you position it over here so you can press ctrl t to transform it a little bit like that don't make it very big now we want to make this icon also white but since we have it already here let's right click and go to copy layer style come to the second layer right click on it and hit on paste layer style and automatically it becomes white as well the last thing we want to add is the bell icon so i'm using this snapchat icon here which obviously looks like a bell and then we have subscribe and turn on the notifications now the last thing that we want to do is we want to add a whole background to this one so this is basically going to be our main banner starting from this point so we can group all of these ones this is going to be our main banner but underneath of it we want to add a background now the background can be solid or it can be anyone at all so for instance if you want to use the solid color all that you need to do is come to the layer adjustments here and then you add a solid color and then you can pick any solid color from the banner that you just created so something like this or if you want to go for something yellow for the background that is quite cool but then if you also want to use something like what i used in miss trudy's banner i use the same image that i use for the background so the same background and then i'll bring it over here for the actual main background and then i'm going to open it up like that so something cool like that and then i'm going to right click rasterize the layer go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then i'm going to add a blur to it but this time around what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this more deeper than the actual background so what i do is i'll press ctrl l to add a bit of levels to it make it more darker and deeper and then i'll press ctrl u to add a bit of saturation to it and then you realize that it becomes more deeper than the one that we used on the actual banner and from there if i press ctrl h this is exactly what we have yeah that wraps it up for this video i hope you gained value out of this at least you got to know how to position some interesting images on your youtube banner but don't forget that the most important thing has to be in between these guidelines that we set if you gain value out of this video a subscribe like or share or even a comment will be very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye